Hey guys, today on My Favourite Tools, I'm going to have a look at my MIG. Okay guys, one of the most important tools for any uh, fabrication is a welder. Um, I grew up on uh, a property and my dad had an old uh, arc welder, a stick welder and um, I got a little bit of practice on that, but it was really, really difficult. Um, if any of you have ever tried stick welding, for starters you have a handheld mask and there's no trigger to, um, to start the arc. You just touch the, uh, the electrode on the, uh, the piece you want to start welding and it starts arcing. The trouble is, is you can't, you've got to get it close without touching it and then put the mask up where you're completely blind and then sort of grope in the dark to try and find where you want to start and then if you hold it too close it gets stuck onto the piece and it uh, and it arcs out like it, like it gets stuck and it's just it's really difficult uh, my hat is off to those who are really good at stick welding because it is quite an art there's quite a bit to learn so um, in any rate, um, when I first discovered the MIG, I thought, oh my goodness, how much easier is it to weld? Anybody can actually weld. And um, I started out, I've, I've had this MIG for um, probably about 15 years, and um, it's, uh, it's a great piece of gear. Um, this is a relatively simple one that still runs on my regular 240 volt uh, power with a 15 amp outlet. Um, it's uh, adjustable for wire speed and also adjustable for uh, the there's, there's six settings. So one minimum maximum, two minimum maximum, three minimum maximum. I used it for years with gasless MIG wire and um, gasless MIG wire basically has a, uh, a flux core in it, similar to uh, how a stick welder looks like a big sparkler with the flux core on the outside of the, um, the steel rod. The gasless wire has the flux on the inside, and um, it's good for maybe using outside and things like that, but uh, I didn't realize how much easier it would be until I finally went and uh, connected gas up to it. The reason I avoided it in the past is because, at least here in Australia at the time, you could only, you had to rent the bottles off of the gas company and, uh, and pay a rental every year, but if you don't use it very often, you're still paying this rental and you sort of stuck with this this bottle. It was uh, really annoying. Whereas I've uh, set this up now. I've been able to buy the bottle and uh, basically just take it in and uh, pay. I think it cost me about a hundred dollars to swap the bottle over. Just take in the empty, swap it for a new one, and a hundred dollars, and, and uh, uh, come back, and keep going. And if it takes me two years to use it, it takes me two years. Fantastic piece of gear. Uh, I am far from the greatest welder, but I've used this from everything from my sheet metal panel work, as you've seen, all the way through to welding my roll cage. Um, it, is, it is a great bit of gear, and if you uh, are setting up a home workshop and want to do your home fabrication, I highly recommend getting a MIG of some sort. Alright guys, uh, well, as I said, this is my favourite tool for the week, the, uh, the home MIG welder, gas MIG welder. As always, um, if you have any suggestions or anything else you want to see uh, me do videos of around the shop, any other tools you're interested in, let me know in the comments below. And as always, please like and subscribe to uh, Home Built by Jeff, and you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram at the same place. See you guys.